Welcome to Proofpoint's how-to video tutorial series, which is aimed at sharing best practices for configuring the Proofpoint Protection Server's features and functionalities. This video tutorial describes and briefly demonstrates the Proofpoint Email Security app and add-on for Splunk that can be used with Proofpoint Email Security and Target Attack Protection products. Splunk users can get a better handle on overall security posture by correlating Proofpoint email protection data with other security and machine-generated data. The Proofpoint email security app for Splunk allows users to compare the email data model against filtering and mail logs without further customizations and eliminates the need to understand PPS filtering data format. The Proofpoint Email Security app for Splunk delivers visibility into today's advanced attacks, such as ransomware, business email compromise, or BEC, imposter, and credential phishing attacks. The Proofpoint Email Security app for Splunk also provides visibility into email delivery, threats, and compliance violations. The app also consolidates reporting and provides comprehensive visibility by correlating email and other data sources in Splunk. There are now two add-ons as well as a complete app with dashboards and reports available for download. To get started, here are some of the prerequisites to begin using these apps. For Splunk Enterprise, you'll need version 6.4, 6.5, or 6.6. In addition, you'll need to use the Splunk Common Integration Model or CIM Technology Add-on 4.8 or above. Prerequisites include the use of Proofpoint's Enterprise Protection 8.0 and above, Proofpoint On Demand 8.0 and above, Target Attack Protection API Access with an API Service Account and Secret Key, in addition, hardware and virtual appliance deployments require syslog configuration. Finally, Proofpoint On Demand requires a remote syslog forwarding license. For additional configuration details, please refer to your Proofpoint On Demand Administrator Guide. When deploying an add-on, remember to install on both the heavy forwarder and search head. For the app deployment, a search head install is required. The PPS dashboard includes a variety of data. For example, we can drill down to review captured fish emails. We can also review the raw content of these detections for better troubleshooting capabilities. In reviewing the Mail Summary Dashboard, we're able to see what has happened to a particular email within an easy-to-view dashboard without the added complexity of logs. This view can help answer the simple question, what has happened to my email? Shown here is an easy-to-follow table displaying the email sender and recipient, as well as the email subject and action taken. If additional information is needed, more data can be accessed by viewing raw email logs. Using the S value, for example, email logs can be searched to reveal a particular email and identify the action that was taken. Using the TAP dashboard, we can determine who the top recipients are as well as the top classifications. We can compare and contrast attachments versus URLs that are blocked as well as what types of spam that we're seeing. As we review the message event timeline for any detected malware, we can further view JSON objects that have been downloaded using the web source APIs. To access the Splunk apps, go to Splunkbase at https colon forward slash forward slash splunkbase.splunk.com. 
Within the search field, input the term proof point and then press the Enter key. A grouping of the highlighted proof point Splunk apps and add-ons will appear. The app and add-ons can be downloaded for free. Thank you for watching our brief how-to video tutorial on how to download and briefly navigate the Proofpoint Splunk application and add-ons. For additional information on our products, visit our knowledge base at https colon forward slash forward slash proofpointcommunities.force.com. For questions, comments, or feedback on this tutorial, please email us at training at proofpoint.com.